Hello everybody, welcome back to a training of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. In this video we're going to see the toggle control page that we have inside the EcoStruction Machine Expert Basic to use with the remote graphic display of the M221. So let's go to the presentation. As you can see here, this template is similar to the one that we have used in the past, which is this one over here, which is the control table. Okay. The main difference between these two okay, is that the control table has the option to select on and off, okay, and the toggle control table just have only one option, just to toggle the variable status. That will be only the difference. So it's, the process is the same as the past. Depend on the status of the variable, it will change the the text that you have. Okay, and this one are the variables that you can use. So we must use Boolean variables over here. Now, how we can add this? It's very simple, as we saw in the past. Just go to display, operator interface, right click over there, add page, select the one that we want, in this case the toggle control, and then OK. Once you have this, it's important to go to the elements, in order to add the variable that we want to show over there and based on the status of this boolean variable we have two texts that we can change okay for the true when it's true and the other one when it's false when this part is already configured we just need to add it in our list okay so we can see this on the display okay and if you want to change the status, we just need to go to here in the right axis in order to select that is editable. The last thing that we need to do is to modify the view of the of the page so we can use it in our display. So instead of having the default, we can change the title and also add some help over there. You can also modify the page name so you can access uh, much easier instead of using this pg and the number you can configure with names so if you're using a menu menu um, table you can directly uh, you can easily identify which is the page that you want to show we're going to see that later so don't worry so the idea is to use this toggle control table to, call, to be called in the menu table that we have already defined to configure these two variables, they are the ones for the alarms. So, this is what we need to do. Add the web page, add the two variables with a different status text, then call this toggle control in the display, okay, to see it at the bottom. So, let's go into the project, okay, this is the project. Just change the view over here. Good, so going to disconnect from the controller. Display, we just need to go operator add page, toggle control table. Perfect, good. We can change this, for example, to config conf all three because are the alarms. Here are the text, we can change it to config alarm um, help text over here config alarm 3 elements here we just need to add the percentage s 1 to 2 the true will be jump to alarm activated okay this one jump alarm no activated we need to add this don't forget variable here we just need to select the percentage as one two three that is for the um, backlight in red in red and here should be in normal so we need to add this you can see that the text is added over here, which has defined the right access. Now that we have configured this, we need to call it. And for that, we can use the navigation keys, but for example, like this, 
keys navigation and select the page that we want okay but in our example what we're going to do is to use this menu template select the element config alarm tree and then call that page conf alarm tree which is the index 8 just to check the index is over here page index mm -hmm -hmm. and I never put it the add config alarm tree select the index here add perfect so what we need to do now is to connect with the controller let's change the view so we can see it together login that's the view from the previous video okay from the view meter now pc controller okay let's download let's transfer in progress Dun, dun. <laughs> okay, good. Let's run. Okay, let's go to this one. This two that we're going to analyze. Remember, if you have this behavior, to just remove the power, which is just the cable from the PLC, and then just start again. Mm -hmm. it's built in okay good so you can see in here that I have at the bottom now mm -hmm. config alarm 3 okay if I press the exclamation mark you can see the help text over here I have defined now if I go back here configuration you can see they are over here the knot okay you can change this behavior only with one okay the same for this one which is editable okay just one click over there to change it okay and if we compare this to the previous one okay which is the config 2 if I'm not wrong this one you can see there that you have the on and off to change the status so that is the difference between these two variables no variables the two different templates you have the control and then you have the toggle okay so the toggle will allow you only with one key toggle the variable so this is it for the control for the toggle control page for the tmh2gdb so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.